Hello everybody, this is Chris, and today we're just going to work on the Laravel 4 login and registration page. I did one previously for Laravel 3.2, but never got around to doing one for Laravel 4. Uh, most of you guys already figured out how to do it, but for those of you who haven't or are having troubles with it, we're going to go ahead and do it now. So first of all, I'm just going to throw like a header up, and this is just the master page for this video. So I'm just going to say div with a class of uh, row fluid. I'm just going to use some fluid rows here from Bootstrap. And I'm just going to throw in here, I'm going to make it a span 12, make it a well. And inside here I'm just going to say h1 and login tutorial. Or rather some site. Let's just say some site. Some website. Give us space here. Not there though. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. Next. I'm gonna go ahead and have another row fluid. So that row fluid. And here we're gonna have a div with a span of class of span three. So we didn't know, I'll just do this right now. Span three. Um Next, we're going to have a di if you're doing bootstrap and you're using the rows, you want to keep, you know, each row you see here is a row fluid. You want each row fluid to add up to 12. So that's the way I do it, and it seems the easiest to use. So um, I'm going to use a span 9 next. That will give us 12 because it's 12 columns. So span 12 actually span 9 sorry and in here I'm going to yield our content so yield and I'm going to yield the content okay, next let's go ahead and work let's go ahead and use this as our nav here so I don't really know how I want to do this so many different options. Let's try this. So we're just going to do ul with a class of nav and nav list. So nav dot nav list hyphenated, of course. And let's see now. This doesn't do anything at all right now. So hold on a second. Alright, I'm back. I just had to change some things. I was using the flattened version of Bootstrap and it doesn't support some things that normal Bootstrap does, so I switched back over to using normal Bootstrap. So like I said I'm gonna say at if auth user. So if the user is authenticated we're going to show this. We're going to say we'll have li dot nav header. Okay. And that nav header is going to say we'll have a tag here and we're going to say uppercase words. That's just your standard PHP uppercase words. And inside here we're going to say auth user don't forget your and then we're just going to point to the user's name so username auth user username and then after that we're just going to say log out I know it's not very uh, not all cool and everything like that we could add some more, so let's just do some more. Let's say we won't add easy. We'll, we'll just use dummies. We're gonna throw them in there, ways. Uh, mm. We'll say add post. Let's add a couple of these in here. Add post. And 
what I thought I wanted. Let's go HTML. I'm not working off any notes or anything here. I'm just going with the flow of it. So, pardon me for that. Let's see, users. View users. We're not going to do that either. Users dummy text lines, and then finally we'll go ahead and log out. So. We'll say li HTML link log out and log out. Okay, let's go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. And we already have an error your content and I think we forgot to end if and I did forget to end if so it's not going to show anything at all so let's say el else and then we'll just say login so hello link And take the last tags. So let's go ahead and do this link, and we'll just log in. Login route. Go to value login. Save that. Go back out here. Refresh it, and there's still a whoops. Did I add the NF? No, I did not. NF. Let's go back out. Refresh. And there we go. So we have this little <coughs> nav list over here that's going to want us to log in. Of course, we have no login route, but we will. And we'll create the login form in the next video.